Good evening. Welcome to our evening devotions. Tonight we will study about pride. In Proverbs 11 verse 2, pride leads to disgrace. A person who is prideful will definitely experience disgrace. We don't like that. But most of the time we are not careful that we are prideful. Also in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 25, the Lord tears down the house of the proud. The Lord tears down the house of the proud. Now it's amazing how husband and wives are both prideful that, that the other would think that I am always right. And uh, when there is strife, that's pretty sure that pride is at work in the house. The Lord tears down the house of the proud. If we are prideful, we will experience relationships that are broken. Strife is the barometer of pride at work. When there is always strife, we, we are assured that someone or both of you are prideful. Now we, we understand that the very reason why Lucifer became Satan, it is because of pride. God opposes the proud. The Bible declares in the book of James that one of the very things that God opposes is someone who is proud. And we can assess ourselves if we are prideful. By what? By looking at our relationships today. How's your relationship? Do you always quarrel? Do you always uh, come into an argument with one another? It means that you are proud. When you think that your views are always right and that you are always right, then it shows that pride is at work in our hearts. In Proverbs 16, verse 5, the Lord detests the proud. They will surely be punished. The Lord detests the proud. When we think that we are always right, when we think that uh, we don't have to always obey the commandments of the Lord, whatever the word of God is saying, it's like we think that it's optional. We're not supposed to obey all. Remember this, partial obedience is disobedience. Yes, it is indeed challenging to obey the word of God, but by his grace, we can humble ourselves before the Lord and say, God, help me to obey you in this area. Now, because the Lord detests the proud, and um, a lot of times we are not able to really see that we are now proud. So let us have a self-assessment today. How's my heart? How's my attitude? and come before the Lord in humility and ask for forgiveness because of pride.